What's up, boutique babies? Welcome back to my channel, Sharon Nail Boutique, and welcome if you're new. Please hit that subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So today we are unboxing Burano's foil kit and their two-in-one glow slash mood temperature changing poly gel kit. So kind of a shame to say that I it's been so long since I've picked this up, but we're gonna get right into it today so i promise you that we would and we are gonna review this kit so i am picking out a foil to use and i ended up having my heart set on this like white flowery one that i'll be pulling out in a second and i've actually had this foil kit for quite a while now but didn't realize just how good burano's foil kit was and i actually picked up fan Z fan or f xanest peel off base coat and so far i really like it um i haven't used it to pull anything off yet um i put it on these nails to see if it would be easier to get the tips off in the end but didn't really use it as a true peel off base coat so when i do do that i will let you know how good it is but it has really good reviews on amazon so that's why i grabbed it these are your instructions that you get in Burano's 2-in-1 kit. These are their social media sites. This is the one-year insurance you get. Their forms that you get. I think it's like a 50-pack or 75-pack, but I love these forms because they cure so good. They're 3-in-1. I was a little disappointed that I got a spilled slip solution, but that's okay because I have my alcohol. Um, not a big deal, but they're file here 100 180 grit not too bad it's a little flimsy but not too bad you get the nail tips you also get their dual forms these nail tips are pretty cool i think it's a newer thing that burano is doing i think they've been doing the tips now for several months i just got it, this kit with them in it my other kits have the full well tips of theirs and the dual forms. so this is my first kit by them that i've gotten tips these are their dual dappen dish, which is really good. I have tons of them now. Their brush with their logo. And I think they use a synthetic brush, which is decent. It's not bad. I like SXC's poly gel brushes because they're Kalinsky. Their top coat though, Burano's top coat is super duper shiny. I love their top coat. Really, really good. Just like their, their three in one is really, really good. These dual forms, I think are a little on the small side. Going in with number one, this goes from that red to the green glow. It's more like a reddish brown actually, but this is a very pretty like purplish color number two. Number three here that goes from like an orangey reddish color. Then you have number four that goes from like a blue to a shiny glowing blue. And then the yellow goes to a green glow. This purple goes to a pink glow. And lastly, this red goes to a pink glow. I really love the colors. Look at how they look. I'm just burping the brush really quick. Look at that. Aren't those so cute? I love these colors, how they come out when they're warm. So really, really pretty. I'm using these glitters in the set today. And I actually got those off Ally Express. I will leave the links for those as well. So we're just going to go in with our F Xanas Peel Off Base Coat. I will leave the link for this as well in the description index below. And honestly, I don't know why I did this now that I'm thinking back to it. Because it's not exactly like you can peel off a base coat when you already have tips on. So I just really wasn't thinking, honestly. I just thought that since they were so thin, I filed them down so thin that maybe it would help me peel them off better. And I don't know, maybe they will, but... I'm definitely, the next time I do my nails, I'm gonna do a fresh set so that I could actually go in with this peel off base coat and really see how good it works when I go to take them off because obviously you want this underneath your product, not on top of it. So that's my bad. So I'm just dumping out a little bit of each of these glitters so that I could use them in my set so pretty i love these glitters and on my thumb i'm doing a marble so i'm using a bit of each color and when i take my brush and swirl and we'll see it's really easy actually to do a marble with poly gel you just kind of just 
pushing all your colors kind of together and swirling them with your brush. You could do it with the spatula side of the brush as well. If you want to, just kind of dip your the spatula in some alcohol or some of your three-in-one and kind of swirl it around in there and it works. Some people even do the marble on the spatula itself before they even put it on the nail. They'll like swirl it on something else like a tool and then they'll put it on the nail but I just like to do it this way. It's easier for me and I really like how they turned out. So let me know what you all think of these in the comments below. Let me know what you think of all these videos lately. I've been having a lot of fun. I don't know about y'all, but I've been having a lot of fun making them. And I got my my hand Lola set up. I'm so excited to work on her. I'm going to be working on her in my next video. I have my glass top set up on my desk now. And now I can use the suction cup on Lola's hand to put her to the table and use her correctly so she's not falling all over the place and i'm not having to hold her so yeah i'm really excited for that because i ordered some blossom gel from amelie Emily. i'm not sure if i'm saying that right hang on so that's how you spell it i'm pretty sure but so Emily. But I've heard many other people use this brand before. I've seen people use this before. And it's always seemed like a really good quality product. So I picked up their Blossom Gel. And I read nothing but good reviews about it. It has 4.5 out of 5 stars, I believe. So that's good in my eyes. I'll even use a product that has 3.5 stars. Because in my opinion, products sometimes are given low um star amounts and bad reviews sometimes people don't use them correctly sometimes they don't give it a fair enough chance they are not using it with the correct products so you really have to like right now i'm using this kit right the only extra stuff i'm using is the peel off base coat the glitter and i believe that's it everything else is from burano so i'm using the product with its right product so in order to review a product, you want to be able to give it a fair shot by using it correctly. And if you're not using it correctly and use it with other stuff that may taint it a little bit, you might not get the best results that you may have gotten if you just used it the right way. So that's why I say that. But this product though, Burano's Poly Gels are amazing. I've always loved Burano's Poly Gels ever since I seen them first be used. Beatles is another good brand. SXC, McCart, of course. Um, there's a lot of good ones. Savalan is a good one. Astound is a good one I've used. Lanfo is a good one. The other one I just used, Aishaba. That. So yeah, all those products are really good. And you never know. A lot of these companies, even though they have different names, they may all be getting their products from the same manufacturer. So you never know unless you give a product a a fair enough shot and you want to make sure that you're using the products with its correct other products so yeah that's pretty much it about that so moving on but i'm just encapsulating this now using burano's clear from the glitter poly gel kit um, and this one you don't get a clear you just get their glow temperature changing colors but that's okay because we did have our clear from the other kit like i said yes i love how it came out but i am gonna leave you all here because there's not much left to the video um, i'm only working on this one hand so i end up doing a marble like this on my ring finger and then the other three are an ombre on my pointer with glitter the middle is the solid yellow with the foil and then my pinky is another ombre with the foil that i chose so i really hope that you all enjoy this video let me know what you think in the comments below i will leave all the links in the description index as per usual and I really, really hope you all enjoyed this. I love you all so, so much. Thank you all for your continued support. 
and subscriptions it means the most to me it helps me the most to have you subscribe so please do not forget to subscribe on your way out and like this video and yeah that's all i have for you all today ladies and gents so i will see you in my next one and i really hope that you've been enjoying all of these videos lately so until my next one y'all bye boutique babies love y'all